All right. Hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. If you can hear my voice clearly, can you type wealth in the chat? All right. Because tonight it's all about unlocking true wealth. Hi, Zin. I can see you are here. I can see Meg. I can see Edward. Fantastic. Now, let me just make sure I disable the waiting room so that you guys can come in here. And hold on, let me just see how do I disable the waiting room. So good to see every single one of you. And thank you everyone for being so on time. All right, in fact, a lot of you guys are super early. And I absolutely love that because being early, you are always being rewarded, right? So Mac is here, Edward is here. I can see Suleen. Hi, good to see you. Feel free to switch on your camera as well. Love to see every single one of you. And I believe all of you guys are getting very excited for tonight's sharing right how many of you are excited if you're excited can you type e in the chat because this is something that it's uh to me it's very very rare right we have never done this before and finally when i managed to manage to have this special opportunity to invite these special guests to come along i get so excited because i know that I met him in person before and I got so much value just by learning from him in person, live. So I know that when I'm able to invite him to come here live to do this sharing with you, it's going to be amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sulin, for loving my new hairstyle. And I can see many of you are super excited. So who is the person that I'm going to invite on, guys? Can you tell me the person's name? All right. Can you tell me who is the person's name that I'm going to invite on today as a very, very, very special guest? And he has, he actually, I don't think he has done this before or he seldom do this. And that's why, all right, tonight you get to learn from him directly. Exactly. Ken San, Ken Honda San, right? So without further ado, right, in case some of you guys are still not aware of the phenomenal success that Ken Honda, he himself have, okay? Let me just do a very quick introduction of Ken. So firstly, I just feel very, very honored once again to be able to invite Ken to be here. He, uh, he actually accepted this special invite and uh, for himself, right? Today, he's going to share with you a lot about unlocking true wealth, really how to attract abandon, abundance. At the same time, how do you remove all those money blockage, right? That you might probably have right? And that's why in today's masterclass, you're going to learn a lot, right? And he himself has, has been sharing all his secrets to millions of people all over the world. And he is Japan's number one and most influential wealth mentor, also affectionately known as the Zen Millionaire. And for Ken Honda himself, he has actually published so many books. How many of you have read his books before? If you have read before, can you type down the name, the book of the, the name of the book that you have read before, all right? Maybe you just type both if you have read his book before, right? And his book have been sold like 8 million copies worldwide. And of course, the most groundbreaking work is Happy Money being translated into 32 languages over 50 countries. So as you can see, Ken's impact is nothing short of phenomenon. Yeah, I can see so many of you have read his book before. Thank you so much, Shiva, for being here as well to join me and Ken together. And in fact, tonight, right, I also have Sabrina's audience to come here together with me. Because as you know, Sabrina and I are actually working on projects together, doing business together. And we also know that it's very important to have the right mindset to attract more wealth into our life. So tonight, if you are from Sabrina's audience, then you are definitely going to unlock a lot more wisdom to improve on your business as well, right? And last but not least, right? For Ken, right? We have this incredible opportunity to learn from him directly. So without further ado, if you guys are excited to learn from Ken Honda himself, can you type Arigato in the chat, right? Because he is the person who came up with Arigato money, right? And he is here to share with you how do you attract more wealth and true wealth into your life. I can see... Oh, wow. So many of you are very, very excited. So without further ado, let's bring Ken to be here. All hello, right. hello. Hi, Ken. Hi, Thank Chloe. You. Hi, hi. Wow. Hi, everyone. Are you in wow. Japan right now? Your house yeah. is so nicely decorated. Yes, this is uh, uh, my uh, office on, on, uh, in Japan. I have a few places in Japan, but this is the one inside Tokyo. 
Wow, how beautiful. Yeah. How many of you felt zen already back when you see <laughs> Ken, Ken's background? If you feel zen, can you type zen in the chat? Right? Yeah, this, uh, this place used to be the residence of the chairperson of Canon, you know, the, the camera. Oh, wow. Yeah, so uh, now we are using it as an office. So we got a big yard. So all these, all the people in the neighborhood are the you know owners of uh, public companies here? How beautiful! I think you also get a lot of inspirations by staying there because it used to be where the legend used to be there, right? Wow, yes, he became a, a CEO and also he became the chairman, chairperson of the Economic Federation of Japan. So it's like a prime minister of the you know uh, Economic Federation. So he moved to the place where security is easier. So we have old cameras still, you know, all over my uh, property. That's very, very interesting. And I think our audience, they are all getting so excited to learn from you. And Sabrina and I are super excited as well. So maybe I will start off with the first question. And mm -hmm. for our audience here, if you have any questions that you want to ask Ken, since it's a very special occasion, right? Then also make sure you use this chance, just type out your questions inside the chat so that later on, right, we will definitely have time for this to answer your questions as well. So uh, let me start off with my first question. And uh, Ken, uh, because you are so famous for educating people all over the world, millions of people all over the world about the correct mindset about money, about true wealth. But I think a lot of people are still a little bit unsure about what exactly do you mean by true wealth? Do you mean there's fake wealth and there's true wealth or real wealth? <laughs> Can you give us the definition of true wealth in your opinion? Right. So, you know, as you know, as Arigato investor, you know, money is very important. And at the same time, I think uh, money can be, uh, or wealth can be, uh, can mean so many different things. For example, uh, freedom, security, and and that kind, that type of thing is also part of uh, true wealth. And also uh, peace of mind is also another big asset. Uh, I call it invisible asset. But still, uh, something like that, maybe you don't see it as true wealth. So uh, money is just only just a small portion of the true wealth because uh, beautiful relationship, friendship, and also your ikigai, which I hope I, I can have a little um, discussion with you. All those things are part of true wealth. So money is um, just only uh, just a, a small portion of it. Wow. So in order to unlock true wealth, that means mm -hmm. we need to see beyond the monetary aspect. There are so many things that we can do in our life to attract more true wealth. Is that what you mean? Yes, because there are um, uh, so many different aspects of uh, wealth. So I guess um, money is one of it. And for example, like uh, uh, connection, a network is also another uh, wealth. But we tend to overlook uh, so many valuable things. So uh, we tend to focus on just money, uh, real estate and all that. But, uh, you know, I have seen so many people fail because of their emotional immaturity. You know, they're so emotional immature. Uh, in other words, their money EQ is so low, even though their money IQ is high. And as a result, you make, you make so much money, but you end up losing it all because of one emotional mistake. Wow. How many of you have this kind of, um, find it relatable that maybe you have met people like that. They can make a lot of money, but they could be miserable at heart. That means they don't have a lot of money EQ. Or maybe you they make a lot of money, but still end up losing all over again. How many of you have those friends before? Right? If this is you, type me in the chat. Um, since we're talking about money, right? I think, oh yes, <laughs> Zen said he knows someone. So since we're talking about money and we know that a lot of people here, they are, we are all investors. And talking about myself as an investor, to me, sometimes I think I always have this very tight relationship with money. Mm. In terms of, I kind of felt like, oh, money is scarce. Like mm -hmm. for every dollar, for example, I, I enjoy being thrifty because- mm -hmm. To me, is for every dollar I can save, that's the dollar I can invest. And maybe some some of the audience here, like Sabrina's crowd, they are business owner. Maybe they have the same mindset that, oh, for every dollar that they can save, they can reinvest into businesses. So mm -hmm. 
in a way that we kind of felt that money is scarce and limited, um, how are we able to have better relationship with money in, in this case? Yes, that's a you know tricky thing because as much as we want to um, save our money and grow our money, we need to spend money to feel uh, abundant. So a lot of people just save, 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 and then die with so much money in their bank account and they have no time to enjoy. So I think Japanese people uh, tend to save too much money, maybe Singaporeans too, but like in people in Mexico, they don't just save money, they just enjoy. So I think there has to be the right balance for you uh, because you know there is uh, enough, uh, there's no, uh, never enough uh, if you just keep uh, pursuing more, more wealth. But when you come to think of it, you cannot eat 12 meals a day. And uh, I have a few houses, but you cannot live in four houses at the same time, right? And uh, I used to live in, uh, uh, or I, I still do, but uh, I live in a place where I have 20 rooms. and uh, But I can be in one room at the time. So, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you need to understand, uh, even though uh, you can grow your money, but you have to know how much is enough and when is enough. And meanwhile, the process of um, uh, becoming wealthy, you need to enjoy it. Otherwise, you know, you save, 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 no fun for 20 years. What is the point of uh, becoming a millionaire when you're, you're 75? So you, you need to start enjoying your life as well. And I think from the age 25 to 55, these 30 years are the prime time of your life. You know, I have done interviews and then, uh, if you were 55 or older, you know, your health go down and then you cannot enjoy as much food because of, you know, diabetes and, you know, gout and that kind of thing limits your uh, eating habits. So you need to enjoy life when you are younger. So uh, I, I, I understand that people want to grow their money, but at the same time, that is the money you should spend now and enjoy. So I think uh, our audience are getting very curious. Like, how about if under 25? So, okay, so just now Ken gave us a range between 25 to 55. We should always learn to have a balance. So how old are you guys? Can you put it in the chat? If you are in your <laughs> 25 to 30, maybe you can type 25 to 30. If you are 35 and above, right? type it, type out, okay? 30 plus, okay? We have, oh, no wonder everyone's asking this question is 22 years old. So how about people who are, young like 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 edward like 22 what's your advice for them i don't know how you think uh and how you want to have relations with money but in your early 20s i think you should uh, spend your money on experiences you know instead of just saving 200 dollars, you should spend that 200 dollars and uh go to uh, an expensive party you know i when i was a student many years ago i spent like 200 dollars for a party and i met uh, prime minister at the time wow. and because I was the youngest person right I was in college everybody loved me so I became close to uh, prime ministers and finance ministers and all the big big people uh, at, at the younger age so investing in network it pays a lot more than just investing in stocks so uh, once again it's a balance you know you need to invest in uh, money to learn something. So instead of saving money and let let your money uh, grow, you need to invest in yourself and get the skills and also get to know people, especially when when you're younger, because uh, they they just um, people uh, want to teach younger people too. So uh, you should take advantage of that. Well, I absolutely agree because like. I didn't know, like, I didn't get the chance to meet Ken until I went for an event. Like, I still remember that was last year when Ken was invited by Success Resources, right, mm -hmm. to come to Singapore to give a big speech, right? And mm -hmm. at that time, because I invested in joining the event, and because of that, I get to meet Ken, and because of this, we connected, and that's how right now, Ken is part of my network to be able to do this sharing for me, for my followers. So how many of you can see the importance of 
you know, like really just step off your comfort zone. You might not be something that you might want to do immediately, but because you give yourself that open-mindedness and you be open-minded to join different kind of events, networking, and of course, invest in yourself, then end up actually you will attract more opportunities. How many of you understand? Uh, does it make sense for you guys? If it makes sense, can you type O in the chat? Okay, O, o stands for opportunity, right? <laughs> <laughs> fantastic <Ooh. laughs> i can see a lot of you guys probably already have been on this path as well and talking about network uh one of the person that uh, i expanded my network with was is actually sabrina right like like what what can say because i invested in education expanding my network that's how i learned sabrina uh, I, I get to know sabrina I'm right now doing business together with her and i'm very sure that Sabrina, she also has certain questions for you as well. Uh, mm -hmm. Sabrina, what question do you have for Ken? Yes, so Ken, interestingly, right, the event Hello. that she mentioned, I was actually there as well, and we actually met there as well with uh, Wang Wei. Yeah, so anyway, um, the question that I actually have here, right, is that, okay, so I actually semi-retired when I was 37. And after that, right, I started realizing that, you know, I didn't really know what to do next. Like, like, like you mentioned, right, you, we work so hard to get money and, you know, we have enough. But then thereafter, like, something just feels a little bit missing as well. So for like the last two years, I was actually trying to find um, a purpose in that sense. So a lot of the students that I actually have, right, um, a lot of them are actually looking at, you know, what kind of impact that they can actually create, you know, what kind of, um, like, through this impact, you know, this purpose, you know, how it associates with wealth and then happiness. Is it possible to actually have purpose, wealth, and happiness, you know, while actually, you know, like, doing their business or growing their wealth, you know, can it be co-related? Yeah. Yes, that's a that's a great point. I think um, if you just find your um, life purpose, which is part of a true wealth, now you know that everything is different. If you know uh, why you're born, and if you know your life mission, and then your work is not your only your work. Like I, I found uh, my purpose when I was uh, younger, in my uh, early thirties. And then my mission is to help people transform their relationship with money. And I, and I started writing books on that, uh, actually booklets to begin with. And I started distributing that, distributing with a uh, 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 few of my friends. And that, by word of mouth, um, all my friends wanted more. So I printed 3,000. And the 3,000 booklets... Um, people wanted more. So I printed another 5,000, another 10,000. 10, and by the time I gave away 100,000 copies, a publisher called me. And then I started um, writing books and I became an author. So one uh, insight leads to another. And then when you open the next door, there will be an in interesting world. And then when you open the next door and then your life vision opens up. So once you know your life vision, a lot of people will help you, support you, and that brings more happy money into your life. So the more you serve other people with your gifts and uh, um, according to your life visions and just pursue your passions, and then you end up serving more people, as a result, more money will come. And I think uh, it's also... Uh, the best investment that you can make because uh, investing in yourself always pays the best interest. Wow. Thanks so much, Ken. Um, for your, just because just now you talk about the importance of, you know, um, discovering like using our gift and then give mm -hmm. value to our gift. But a lot of times maybe we are just not sure what exactly is our gift. Like, how do you help people discover that? Because I know many people actually learn from you. Is it like through a ikigai process? Because yeah. um, you know, like Western people, they they always have their own version of ikigai. Mm -hmm. 
but right. they might not be able to truly comprehend because at the end of the day, it's a it's a Japanese notion, right? So as you you yourself are Japanese, can you give us really a better definition of what is ikigai and how do we work with that? Yeah, so I'll just probably show the slides for twenty third, uh, twenty slide twenty third three, Sarah, Sarah. So I can just show. Um, it's very obvious when you look at the chart. So this one shows um, show you, you know, um, ikigai is a combination of what you love, your gifts, your experience, you know, what you have done in your past work, what can make money, and life work. So when you hit the bullseye, that is Ikigai. So you need to find out what you love um, in daily life. If you love cooking, if you love uh, speaking, if you love connecting, if you love investing, you know, that's part of your Ikigai. But you need to use your gifts and your life experience and what brings money. And life work is that uh, uh, the activities that you are born to do. So... When you feel you're so passionate, this is my life. This is exactly what why I was born to do, and then you get uh, you hit the jackpot. Uh, you never run out of passion. That's how it. That's how that's how it works. So I want to ask our audience here: How many of you felt that you have found your ikigai? If this is you, can I I in a chat? Okay, I stands for you ikigai. You found it. Mm -hmm. Or if you are still in the process of finding it, can you type P in the chat? That means you're not sure yet. You're still in the process and uh, you actually want to see how you can use your Kiki Kai to create more wealth and attract true wealth. Oh, wow. Okay. Thanks to everybody for being so honest. I can see that some of you guys are still in the process. KT, mm -hmm. HL, Sulin. Uh, some of you have already found it. Like Kelly, uh, love that. So, mm -hmm. For people who are still in a process, like, like at that time, for example, Ken, how did you find your Ikigai? Like, was it someone that you met? I know mm -hmm. that you have a very important mentor that you mm -hmm. always mention about or in all your sharing, your books, mm -hmm. Wahita Keda. Right. Is he the one who helped you find your Ikigai? How does that work? Yeah, you know, it uh, like, so it, it builds up. You know, sometimes uh, uh, when you just... um um bump into somebody that you really inspire who really inspire you and that uh could be the start of your uh finding your ikigai and uh some of your friends say you know chloe you are very good at speaking like really oh i guess i am you know and then uh another friend just shows up and say chloe i think you're a great speaker and then people start uh started to invite you for uh, speaking engage engagement. So that kind of synchronicity happens one after another. And then you're sort of guided toward what you should do. So, and it's not just only one thing, it's a combination because my Ikigai consists of speaking, writing, and listening and consulting. And uh, um, it's not just only one thing. So it's just a combination of your energy. But mm. once you find it, you feel more true, more passionate. So uh, writing is a great passion, but it's not the only passion I have. It's more of, um, you know, it, it's one of the passion. And then when I, I just finished a, a two-day seminar uh, yesterday and uh, 400 people from all over wow. Japan uh, gathered. And then, you know, just uh, making them laugh and cry is part of my gift. And, uh, and also when I uh, go back home, I just uh, wrote for a couple of hours and that is also another Ikigai. And just uh, sharing my um, ideas about uh, true wealth and Ikigai, this is also my um, passion as well. So your passion could come out in so many different ways. So just uh, you know, pull one, pull from one passion after another, and then you just keep pulling, 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 and then boom, I realized this is my Ikigai. So it might take some months, uh, years, but it's worth it because, you know, um, if you get stuck in a, in a job that doesn't uh, bring you joy, you become like a zombie. Mm. But if you just start living your true life, you'll be more passionate. You'll be more generous. You'll be happier. You'll be smiling more. So, so just start doing um, what you love more, and that will bring in happy money eventually. Wow. How many of you are inspired? to attract more heavy money into your life. If this is you, can you type happy in the chat? 
right? And I think just like what Ken said, our our life shouldn't be like a zombie, right? Like we right. only have one life, right? Imagine mm-hmm. if every day if you are very sad to go to work and you don't want to you don't want to go, and that it's like you are robbing the joy away from you. Why right. not? Use this chance to really discover your gift, your ikigai, and make the best out of it because everybody mm-hmm. is talented in our own way. Is, is yes. that what you mean, Ken? Yes, definitely. So I feel sad when people just get stuck in a job and they feel so stuck, but you can free yourself. And you're the only one who can free yourself. Your parents would not do it. Your boss would not do it. So you are the only one. And the door of the prison is open. It's not locked. But mm-hmm. you stay here. Uh, you stay inside the prison because it's more safe. You know, at least uh, you get some lousy food, you know. <laughs> so as long as you get food on the table, are you satisfied or are, are you ready to uh, come out from the, uh, you know, small cell and then go out on the street, which might you may uh, meet some bad people and uh, you may get hurt. So um, you need to take some risk to come out from the small uh, prison cell and then break free from that and and follow your heart and just live on your passion. Wow. And I think that the journey is definitely something very rewarding. But just like what you said, we got to take some risk, right? So right. It might be very scary to probably mm-hmm. to many people. Um, is there any incident like, for example, uh, out of so many millions of lives that you have touched, you have coached, any particular student that you still clearly remember his or her transformation? Like mm-hmm. how from probably very scared uh, and then don't know what's going on, how to find purpose in life to eventually because you work with the person to develop a key guy. And mm-hmm. then right now, he or she is totally living a different life. Is there any right. certain example like that? Oh, I have written a few books on that. You know, I have published more than 150 or 60 books. So uh, I can show you, uh, share with you some examples. Like, uh, and also it depends on how, how much risk do you want to take? Do you want to take 20 years or five years or two years? Uh, some of my students who took a 10-year time or a 15-year time, so they started uh, investing gradually. And then with the uh, uh, length of 15 years, they let the, their money you know, be, be compounded. And then uh, they eventually had enough uh, real estate and stocks so they could retire. That's like a longer term, right? Mm-hmm. And also some people just, uh, uh, one of my uh, students started coaching on the side, right? She used to work for a corporate job, but she got like 10 clients so she could support herself with that amount of money. So she quit the company, she started writing the book, and she she was invited to be on TV show. She got yeah. famous. So she's uh, I think she's published something like seven books by now. And she has her coaching practice, and now she's uh, going to make a movie. So, wow. yeah, that ha- thing happens. And I think probably it took her five years. And for some people, they take a risk right away. You know, they quit the company and then start their own business. Not necessarily uh, they all succeed, but when they fail, they go back to the company they used to work for and then just, you know, save up enough money and then start start all over all over again. So not doing anything, not starting anything is the biggest procrastination. So I think you have to start from somewhere um, by just uh, trying out new things. Otherwise, you get stuck in this old, boring uh, job. Yeah. So basically, it's about taking calculated risks. And I think I really like the example of just now, I think it's a lady, right? That she she initially was working full time, but she right. took the leap of, leap of faith that she started mm-hmm. to follow her, I think her her passion, her gift, right. and then started mm-hmm. writing. I, I, I believe you have been coaching her throughout the period. And she basically lived a life that she could not imagine five years ago. Like, I think it took her five years, right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So I think if you just give yourself three to five years, there is enough to, time to find your skills, find your network, and also find uh, uh, the time and money so people can just uh, invest in you or, or you have enough skills to get the money to run the business. So um, be prepared, but I don't think it, you, need, you need to have 20 years. 
you need to learn something, uh, enough skills, so you can start something in a, in a few years. Hmm. And uh, we also know that when it comes to, I, I think Zen asked a very good question as well. How can we get Ken to give us some personal advice as well? <laughs> so Ken, for, for yourself, like how do you usually guide your students? Like, for example, I'm in your uh, uh, group coaching, right? That's mm -hmm. how you guide us uh, through group coaching as well. Like, how do you help those people to accelerate faster? So I'll just ask, like you, Chloe, what excites you the most? Okay. I am excited about sharing like this, speaking like yes. this. Yes. I'm also excited about investing money matters in general. Mm -hmm. So um, and the next question is, how big do you want to do? How just meant to how many people? For for example, you know, uh, uh, my YouTube channel has hit about a million and a half uh, views uh, a month. And my podcast has uh, uh, 52 million down downloads in the past uh, 15 oh years. God. So it's almost half the population of Japan, wow, right? Wow, yeah. that's amazing. So, and so uh, how big do you want to do? You know, do you want to do with uh, a 1,000 people, uh, 10,000 or 100,000? So it's um, it 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 depends on your energy. If you want to just put up an antenna high enough so yeah. you can broadcast, uh, you can share what you know with uh, 1,000 people or 10,000, 100,000, a million. So I have done, I have sold books with 9 million people. So I started from 10,000 and uh, and then 100,000 and a million and 2 million, 3 million, 4 million. So it depends on how big do you want to play. It, wow. It's a totally different game. Wow. And you talk about energy. So how do you increase your energy to accelerate your own growth? Like, for example, you talk about 10,000 in the past, mm -hmm. 100,000, 1 million, 2 million. How do you do that? You know, first of all, you have to be curious about your future. You know, a lot of people don't have big dreams. So they don't uh, picture themselves with a, a million dollar, $10 million, or $100 million, you know. Uh, so they just start saving money and then they get bored or they get depressed and then they stop doing anything. So instead, you have to be curious about your future. Just can you imagine yourself being so successful in five years or 10 years from now? If you can picture yourself as a very successful entrepreneur or author, what would it be like? And then if you get excited about um, becoming one, you need to be realistic about how you want to do. And, and then you have to get a good mentor. If you want to sell, uh, if you want to write a book, you need to meet up with a, a, an author and then become a friend with this person. And then... If you want to sell your book to a million people, you have to learn from people who sold one million copies because mm -hmm. you don't know what's involved in uh, selling one million copies. You know, I I never learned what to do uh, at the beginning of my career. So I asked many, uh, 10 authors, how can I sell more? But the person uh, that I was uh, asking the question has sold only 5,000 copies. So he doesn't know, he didn't know the answer, right? Mm. So I searched uh, the right person, right mentor, who gave me the right answer. So you have to keep searching uh, for the right answer. Wow. So it's always a search in progress. It's always about improving, expanding our network, finding the right mentor to guide us along so that we can speed up. And at the right. same time, I think dream big. Right, like you, you must envision yourself to be able to do that, and that's why you will take the necessary action to do that. How many of you agree with what Ken said? If you agree, can you type "dream" in the chat? Right, like you must dream big. If you don't want to settle for mediocre life, you want your life to be better. Better, you want you provide better life for your family as well. Yeah, Ken, you were trying to say something. Sorry, I interrupted you. No, so uh, my mentor uh, is uh, um, in in writing field is Jack Canfield, who sold three hundred million copies with uh, Chicken Soup for the Soul, and also fifty million copies sold by John Gray, Men are from Mars, Women from Venus. So those people, I mean, they are uh, my mentors. 
so I have learned how to sell. Um, I I can I I can see you know because my sales is reaching nine million, so I can see ten million mark. But yeah. I have no idea how how to sell a hundred million copies. You know, wow. Uh, that's wow. So, but uh, since I have done to uh, ten million, I can easily picture twenty million, and then maybe after that, thirty million, fifty million, and then no, a one hundred million. But uh, there's only a limited time uh, in your life, so <laughs> instead of going after more, uh, you can really. Uh, go um, inward and just find your uh, peace with that too. So not necessarily growing bigger, just going more is not the answer. So you need to be realistic. How much is enough and when is enough? Otherwise, um, you'd be, you be dead on the road of becoming wealthy and then uh, spend no time for yourself. Uh, I think Zen has a very question. At the same time, you know, we talk about dreaming big, but you also talk about it's not about just being big and more, right? And mm -hmm. there are also people who tell, you know, us, you know, be safe, play safe, be realistic. How do we even find people who can encourage each other instead of doubting ourselves? Like, is that it? How, how do you find yourself that community when you first started? Yeah, so I just uh, looked for um, uh, somebody who, uh, like like 30, 35 years ago, I started looking for um, people who started young. You know, I started young. I started my business when I was 21. I'm retired at the age 29. So uh -huh. I wanted to find somebody who is an early starter, you know, and then uh, I met some um, who started uh, their business on, in their early 20s. So you need to find the right mentor for your situation. So if you're a woman, maybe you can find a woman entrepreneur and then learn from that person so you can learn better. But at the same time, you need to learn from mentors from a, another field, which would also, who would also give you a different perspectives. So uh, you need to learn at least uh, from three to five mentors at the same time. And they say different things that could be troubling you. <laughs> and life is like that. You know, there is no right answer. So True. by understanding there are many multiple answers, you can choose to, um, you can choose your own answers um, by yourself. Wow. And back then when you first started, like, for example, you learn from so many mentors at the same time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's say we talk about one particular uh, mentor, Wahei Takeda, who is mm -hmm. also known as the Warren Buffett of Japan, right? Mm. What made you actually be committed about the process of, oh, I want to meet him, right? Instead of reading his books, which I think you definitely have also read his book, what made mm -hmm. you want to go the extra mile of meeting him in person? And what is it like the first time when you met him? Yeah, so uh, I was introduced to Wahei uh, through my mutual friend. And uh, he said, uh, you know, if you meet, uh, uh, if you meet Wahe, your life will be, will not be the same. So I was very excited to see him, see him. So just imagine yourself meeting a Warren Buffett himself. And then so excited. Uh, if, you have, if you have five seconds, what would you ask? Mm -hmm. And I asked the, the right question for me at the time, what is the secret of money? And he said with a big smile, just arigato your money. And then I got pushed out from the next person. <laughs> and, what? Arigato your money? And then he said, uh, yes. And uh, But uh, there are like 20 other people behind me. So I didn't have the opportunity. But uh, I wrote him a thank you letter uh, right after. And just, I sent him beautiful flowers. Mm. So uh, in two days, I got a package from him personal. Uh, I, and there's a, a letter and also... It's something heavy is inside. Do you know what was inside? Uh, when I opened it up, there was a big gold coin inside. Huh? And I was so surprised. And then he said, I loved your sincerity. I lived the generosity. Thank you for the flower. And then I got a big piece, of, which is like a few thousand dollars. And then uh, I just look at the, you know, uh, the postage and it says, gold coin inside <laughs> so i was like laughing oh, you know oh Japan is safe, but who the male 
a gold coin, you know, <laughs> in the mailbox. And and then um, later, uh, two weeks later, I had another opportunity to meet with him one one on one, and then I could get to ask him so many different questions. I felt like I became a Napoleon Hill with uh, Andrew Carnegie because I could uh, have four hours of him uh, privately. And then I started asking him questions and I started uh, um, learning with him. So I went to his office a few times a month and then uh, we became very close. So I became uh, like his son. And so he just um, um, taught me uh, what is the uh, essence of money and how to how to receive more abundance. And I was already wealthy before, but uh, since then I started investing in stock uh, and also stocks and also uh, gold coins. At the time, the gold was uh, one third of the price now. Uh, so you know, I started investing with Wahe. So with that uh, investment wow. itself, I learned so much from him and I got so much money that I cannot spend in my lifetime. Wow, wow. How many of you are inspired by Ken's journey for keep on growing, keep on learning and expanding his own knowledge and network? If you feel inspired, can you type I in the chat? And and as, as you can see, like for example, at that time, Ken was already well-to-do, right? He is already financially free, but he just keep on thinking about how can I expand further how can i grow further and that's why he went on the extra mile of finding the warren buffett of japan and even have the opportunity i think that in my opinion is just something that i can never imagine can happen to me in my life but you made that happen i think that it's really really extraordinary inspired a lot of you guys are inspired as well i'm super inspired inspired by why hey so generous give you a gold coin <laughs> Yeah, but he not only to me, he just gives uh, gold coins to uh, total strangers. Like when we went to Denny's, you know, Denny's was a favorite place uh, for Wahe because parking space is wider. You know, <laughs> he wanted to drive himself. You know, so uh, I was in his car. Uh, when he got excited, he just uh, talks with both hands to me while he was driving. So I was just so scared so many times. But uh, when, whenever we go to Denny's and then when he finds a beautiful smile, you know, the smiling wait, waiting person, he gives out uh, the solid gold coins to uh, this waiting person. And wow. then he says, congratulations, I'll give you this gold coin. You have the best smile in the world, which is worth like a thousand dollars. And then he says, now, I love your smile. Keep smiling. And then, then she cries and, you know, she's so deeply moved and say, thank you, thank you, thank you. And later on, I asked uh, Wahe, why do you do that? And he said, uh, it's not just charity. I just did a shopping. I just bought the life's lifetime uh, smile of hers for the rest of her life with only a thousand dollars. Don't you think it's a great bargain? And then he said, wow. So, uh, and he said, uh, if you just get a gold coin for your smile, what would she do? And 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 I said, she'll probably smile more. Exactly. So he said, she'll smile more to the customers, uh, more to the family, more to the neighbors, more to everyone, because she's confident with her smile. So by buying a thousand dollar, you know, by buying her better smile with a thousand dollars, it's a big investment in society. And I asked him, but you don't get the results. Uh, he said, I have more money than you can imagine. So I don't need more anymore. So for me, just uh, finding uh, more um, smiling people is more joy than just money in my bank account. So that's who he was. Wow, how beautiful. How many of you would love to have more joy like this and spread more joy to people around you? If that is you, can you type joy in the chat? And we can absolutely feel the joy and the generosity from not just from Wahei himself, but from Ken himself as well, right? Like over the past, I think, oh, 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 wow, 45 minutes of his sharing. But I have a question yes. regarding like changing this mindset of money. Like... Mm -hmm. It can't be just in uh, one hour, right? Mm -hmm. How 
how do you make it stick? How do you cultivate that mindset that eventually remove all our baggage about money, negative, uh, you know, I thoughts about money to really transform it into some positive and attract true wealth and abundance. How do you make it stick? Like, what do you do? Do you meditate or do you? You know, yeah. it's just like an overflow of new new uh, things. Like uh, I have this green tea, matcha tea here. So when you um, pour over water, this green tea will be thinner and thinner and thinner. And then when you pour enough, uh, it will overflows. And if you keep pouring water, it'll be just water, you know, so it, it won't be green. Mm. So if you are up to here with poverty consciousness, and if you pour yourself uh, with lots of love, generosity, new abundant ideas, you will gener your scarce mentality will be gone. And then you'll be blessed with more abundant mentality. And at least you need like 90 days or six months uh, before you get renewed, right? So yeah. it takes time. It's it, it's not just um, something you can do in two days, but I don't think it's going to take one year. It, I think it'll be uh, six day, 60 days or 90 days. And if you just give yourself six months, you'll be a totally new, different person. Wow. And because according to research, right, there are certain research that I say it takes 21 days to form a habit, but mm -hmm. there are also research that to really form something that's permanent, it needs like 90 days, right? And mm -hmm. some some even needs like six months, right? So can, can, can everybody type 90 days in the chat, right? Like at least give yourself that 90 days to um, develop that proper right. mindset shift. But during these 90 days, like what can they do? Uh, for yourself, when you first started, what do you do to really solidify your mindset? Is it have to do with meditation mm -hmm. or what do you do every day? So um, there's there are so many uh, fun techniques, but the, the the one fun technique I can share is arigato your money. Mm -hmm. When the money comes into your life, say arigato to money. And, yeah. and I think uh, any arigato investor can do it very easily, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And also when you spend money, you can always say arigato too. So you can start the cycle of arigato in and out. So by appreciating money coming in and going out, you enjoy money, money energy. But once you just think money is fun instead of struggle, instead of like hard, and then, wow, money comes in so easily and goes out so easily and, and then comes back again. So uh, you can feel the cycle of appreciation. And by enjoying the flow, uh, you want more money subconsciously and you enjoy money. So by understanding uh, what money brings, uh, and especially joy part, and also if you can enjoy paying bills and paying taxes, uh, Wahe said, you can just think money only creates uh, fun and joy in your life. So next time, even we we'll, we pay bills like uh, taxes and all this, we still say aligato. Mm -hmm. So that we attract more arigato money into our life. Is that what you mean? Yes. And also there are so many other things I could I could share. But the other thing is that you always appreciate the person who pay you the money. If you're a coach or consultant, they have cho they could have chosen you, mm -hmm. they could have cho chosen somebody else, but they chose you. So instead of uh, um, choosing, instead of choosing other people, they trusted you. They mm -hmm. put uh, complete trust in you, so they just uh, um, ask you to do the job. So uh, you can say thank you so much for believing in me. Thank you so much for choosing me. And and then because of that, I can pay um, uh, my rent. I can pay my mortgage. Because of you, I become more abundant. So thank you for giving me the money. So if your appreciation goes to your clients, they feel it. When I was doing consulting business, I divided my clients into two groups, you know, mm -hmm. many years ago. One with just regular you know, work and the second group, I always appreciate them. I always say thank you. I brought some Japanese tea and coffee and some books and candies, something little to show my appreciation, not expensive. Six months later, the first group that I didn't do so much, I got some referrals, which is okay. 
But the second group, I got flooded with referrals because my appreciation for the business, they wanted to do more. So uh, when you appreciate uh, your clients, you'll get more clients because what you appreciate appreciates. So uh, thank your clients, thank your customers. I always appreciate my readers. I always appreciate my viewers and listeners by uh, showing my appreciation, by showing my bond to my uh, readers and listeners. They just feel uh, the friendship too. So uh, the feeling could be mutual. So by forming a, a better relationship uh, with your customers and clients, uh, you can have a better uh, financial situation as well. Wow. How many of you also feel a very appreciative for Ken's uh, sharing so far? If you're appreciative, can you type arigato in the chat, right? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. Thank wow, you. so many arigato. Uh, we have one very good question from Odie. She's asking uh, how to handle a situation if the receiver is ungrateful. Do you continue to give in this case? Yes, because um, what counts is like how you let go of the money. And then your appreciation could change him or change her because your appreciation uh, give them uh, a different energy. So if you just keep appreciating uh, the person, uh, that person will change. Uh, one of my students was a single mom mm. who just was complaining about the low pay. But because she learned this technique, she started to appreciate her boss every day. And nothing happened for a few weeks. But suddenly, she got a big raise and also a big bonus. Because her, her appreciation to her boss really got to his heart. And then he forgot how to appreciate her back. And then he realized that he uh, hasn't got, he hasn't given her enough appreciation. So if you just keep appreciating that appreciation, love energy, opened up um, other people's heart. So just even though if you uh, feel some something is not working, it's almost like pouring love to your partner, pouring love to your client's heart. And then nothing happens until it overflows one day. Wow. How many of you felt that kind of um, peace and wisdom that you haven't felt for so long, but just by being here tonight, you felt more peaceful, you felt happier, and you felt more hopeful towards the future. If that is you, can you type me in the chat? Enlighten, I love that, all right? Sarah said, make you smile. And Patrick said, me, Irene, peace and wisdom. Thank you, everybody, right? And I also know for Ken, right? Like you, because like for those who are joining today's masterclass at the end, right? Ken also have a very special gift, which is he's, removing the negative money baggage meditation guide for you guys. So stay all the way to the end. We will share with you that guide, right? Mm -hmm. To download, right? But how many of you are curious and actually want Ken to guide you on a live meditation? Because I believe Ken, do you meditate every single day to, you know, continue to have this positive vibe and all this? Do you do that every day? <laughs> I, it, yeah, and every day and a few times a day. You know, um, when I'm a little tired, I just spend like a couple of minutes and then boom, I, I, I come back. So uh, when, you, when you're worried about something, you go into your center and just find peace. So it's not just a, a once a day thing. It's just a constant thing to keep you balanced and also keep you just um, be in the center. Mm, I see. So... Are you able to, I know it's a bit spontaneous. <laughs> Are you able to do a very, uh, very, very short and sweet meditation to get with us right now so that you sure. can, our audience here to unlock more true wealth and be on the positive vibe together. Is that okay? Of course, of course. Um, uh, maybe a few minutes, you know, just a couple of minutes. Okay, so just I'll give you a quick um, meditation. So um, just uh, close your eyes gently and just um, deep breath a few times and then enjoy breathing in and breathing out. Just imagine money is breathing, uh, money is coming in as you breathe in. Mm, you breathe in money and enjoy the money and breathe out money as you pay the bills. Breathe in again. Money is coming in, coming in, coming in. Mm, good. And breathe out. 
So money is like that. And when you open a door in front of you, then there's this um, beautiful goddess. You know, I, I just make this a quick version. So this uh, Japanese kimono dressed beautiful goddess of wisdom, goddess of abundance is in front of you. She smiles and bows softly. And then she sprinkles beautiful energy on your aura. So this peace, peaceful and abundant energy falls on your head and shoulders and all of your body. As that beautiful golden sprinkles, beautiful energy falls down to your your body, you feel totally relaxed and then totally joy with res for receiving this abundant energy. And then she gives you a quick healing of cleansing of your financial worries and stress. She cleanses that with her beautiful gold and orange and pink energy and then wash away all the anxiety from your heart. And since this is a quick visit, she gives you a small box in your hand. This is a symbol of abundance and healing. And she says, you can come back here anytime because she is waiting for you. And it's time to go back. So bow to this goddess of abundance and wisdom, and then come back into your body. Breathing deep and breathe out. Breathe in deep one more time and breathe out. When you're ready, come back to your body and then stretch yourself. And then you can feel the difference. Wow, guys, can you type out how are you feeling right now in the chat? Uh, as I was doing the meditation just now, I felt that tinkle around my skin. I felt like, mm -hmm. oh my God, so refreshed, so peaceful, so relaxed and energized. I was felt inner peace renew really powerful really wonderful and i think that's what ken always likes to do for his own community as well that mm -hmm. this kind of meditation really helps to help us i think find peace and clarity in this very sometimes very noisy world because sometimes like as we move on with our our life more worries will come in but because you have all this little wisdom and golden nuggets to bring you back, you feel grounded and, and you feel that you are ready to start afresh and attract more abundance. I, I, I love the rainbow that Roland is giving us. Arigato. Thank you. That's so beautiful. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, Ken. I absolutely love that. All right. So now uh, I'm also very curious, like for yourself, uh, I know that you also have some in-person training like at that time um what makes you want to start like in-person training like for example uh back then when you met Wahei what mm -hmm. is the difference between meeting him on his book right he has eat all his wisdom in his book as well versus meeting him in person mm -hmm. how has that changed your entire perspective as well you know I think uh I believe in meeting people in person i mean this is great you know this is better than reading a book but i think uh meeting in person gives you so much energy so when i have this option of meeting somebody on zoom or in person i just you know um fly miles um you know this time uh i met you chloe you have such a beautiful energy and beautiful heart and i could really feel you in singapore right Thank so uh, meeting uh, somebody in person gives you such a deep impact. 
you know, uh, I have met so many great people, great minds in the world. I have met many royal family members and uh, prime ministers and presidents. And because of that, I could learn so much from them. So my belief, belief is that uh, getting in like a, a three meters, or if it's possible, but if not, like a hundred meter radius, you know, in their aura, and then you feel something is very different. So this Zoom is so beautiful too. If you're just um, kind of like sharing a chat or even just feel uh, that person's energy, uh, you can you can be transformed. That's how I believe. So um, meeting uh, Wahe in person was such a great thing. And then meeting a lot of people, myself, is also um, um, a lot of fun. So I might, uh, when I went to the Philippines, Manila, uh, mm -hmm. weeks ago, uh, I felt so much uh, excitement. So I really love meeting people uh, in person. So I, I hope I'll fly to Singapore sometime and meet everybody, your friend. <laughs> How many of you would love Ken to be in Singapore? If you love it, can you type S in the chat, right? Can, can we come to Singapore? <laughs> I think a lot of you guys all want Ken. And for me, I think I also have this honor to really thank, thank Ken for coming to Singapore at that time and really agreeing to my interview invite. And I managed to met him in person again. The first time was in Success Resources event. That's how I first met Ken. And then the second time as he flew to Singapore again due to another successes, a success resources event. And that's how I managed to meet him in person. I really love the energy, that vibe. It's like what you say, Zoom is great. But when you meet in person, that kind of enlightenment, the kind of message that sink inside me is just a different level. And yeah, this time in Hawaii, I'm flying over to your retreat as well. So finally get to meet you in person again. Yes. Looking forward to that. So mm -hmm. now, uh, one more question I have for you guys, and I believe a lot of you guys are also wondering, like, because uh, it does take time, right? Like, usually, minimally, it's 21 days to form a habit. Ideally, it's 90 days and sometimes even six months. So mm -hmm. um, what should we do from now on to really reinforce whatever mm -hmm. things that we have learned for the past uh, one hour uh, while wow, maybe I get get the audience to type in a chat, like in the past one hour, what is your greatest takeaway from Ken's sharing so far? Right? Can you put it in the chat? Right? Ken has been generously shared with you guys. Uh, share back what have you received from him, right? So that he will also feel very appreciative that you guys have been learning a lot as well. Right? Uh, yeah, Zen is asking, where can we learn more about the Hawaii trip with Ken? I think maybe Ken later you can share a little bit more about the Hawaii trip as well. <laughs> Let go of uh, money worries. That's what Sarah learned. Uh, Sabrina said she wants to go Hawaii. Love that. So in the meantime, like, um, I understand that you have certain kind of program that can mm -hmm. continue to help our audience here to really reinforce whatever we have learned and really cultivate that into a proper positive habit that replace all those bad negative uh, worries that we have on money and replace it to attract true wealth. Are you able to share with us a little bit more about your program and how can you help our audience further from here? Yeah, so you know, I I have published um uh, two books in English. So the second book is called True Wealth. So um this is my passion to uh, share my wisdom uh, that I learned from many mentors about true wealth. It's not just about the money, it's about the visible assets, invisible assets. A lot of people focus too much on visible assets. So instead of focus on only visible assets, you need to find find have the strong foundation of uh, invisible assets, which is trust, friendship, kindness, and skills at network and all that. And by having that strong foundation, you can build a beautiful fi uh, financial fortress. So if people focus too much on money IQ, uh, they cannot find a strong, uh, steady financial uh, castle that you want to build on. So uh, I have, I'm now doing uh, courses uh, in Japanese and I'm taking a group of Japanese people. And I'm also uh, now in the process of uh, sharing uh, with my international uh, audience. So I'm inviting people 
uh, to my online courses. And at the same time, at the in the middle of this uh, three months course, 90 day program, I'm inviting people on the vision quest in Hawaii, which uh, was that uh, Chloe was talking about. So I can show you uh, briefly about um, what I teach um, on True Wealth Mastery course, which is going to start at the end of September. Uh, some of you may be interested in learning with me. So instead of uh, me teaching you, I'm just sharing my wisdom. And also um, by my asking questions, you will probably come up with the right answers for you. So what is true wealth? You know, uh, and what is it? Visible assets, invisible assets. What is Ikigai? And uh, um, those things I just share with you with uh, three live group coaching uh, sessions um, with you. I haven't done many English programs, so this is my uh, experiment slash uh, this is one of the uh, starting uh, events uh, for me in English. I will do more uh, in 2025, but uh, the, these are the modules that I share with you in 12 weeks. So it's uh, re redefining um, of the wealth and how to how to have this um, knowledge of intuition and synchronicity, because synchronicity and intuition are the two uh, important com components in order to find what you're good at and who to connect and where to go in order to get the wisdom. So, and also understanding the visible assets and invisible assets, those things are something that I will share during the 90-day program. Next one. I think what I enjoy, like currently, uh, just to let everybody know, I'm also inside uh, Ken's coaching program as well. And mm -hmm. what I really love the most about this is like what Ken said, there's no fixed answer, right? Because mm -hmm. everybody's situation is different. So that's why through the live session with Ken, he will ask us questions. And it's through those questions, we find answers that it's the most suitable for ourselves. Mm -hmm. Right, that like you find clarity, uh, by 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 through the guided questions or the guided meditations that Ken has been doing that for myself, and I felt it's been extremely useful. Um, back then, like like even though like what Ken said, right, I can have all the money IQ, right, that I'm very good at making money and all this, but I just feel very. I still felt it's not enough, right? And I still feel very worried and all this. And that's when, when I joined Ken's program, I felt that my entire perspective towards money start to shift. And now I found a lot more peace and I feel a lot more joy in my life. How many of you felt that actually back compared to back then versus now, I feel more joyful. If you can feel that, can you type joy in the chat, right? And I think that's really because of Ken's transformation. I, I, I've been, been through his program for, I think, close to six months. And I really see, yeah, I look more joyful. Thank you so much, Rina. Thank you so much, Sarah. And that's subtle changes, but all this really help because every single month, and as I go through this, I become better. I become happier. I think that's the most important thing. <laughs> and at the same time, attract, still attracting actually more wealth, like even, even more wealth than how I used to attract. So it's a different ball game. I'm still learning, just like what Ken, he is still learning even to today. And that's why I purposely also invite Ken to come here because I have benefited so much from his program. And I want you guys to see how can help, Ken help you guys to unlock more uh, worry-free wealth, true wealth into your life as well. Yeah, sorry, can I interrupted you again because I get so excited. Okay, no, no. <laughs> yeah. you're more than welcome to just uh, um, say whatever you need. Okay. Yeah, so maybe, yeah, you can share back the slides. Please feel free mm -hmm. to share uh, uh, what do they get from this uh, coaching program? Yeah, so I'm, I, I'm happy to share with you so many different things uh, because this is not my main business. This is my uh, almost like a hobby to just share my wisdom. You know, I'm my main thing is other things, but uh, um, I I learn uh, more by having interactions with uh, um, people in English. I have done enough teaching in Japanese, so I'm so excited to uh, learn uh, from other different cultures as well. So uh, 
this is such a great adventure for me too to share my wisdom in English. So I will be uh, giving you uh, so much um, wisdom and also uh, all the techniques I've learned over the years. And um, as I'm saying that, I want you to take uh, take this course uh, risk-free. So uh, we'll take the risk. So if you just uh, don't feel that this is the right course for you, we'll give you 100% uh, money, guar um, money guarantee for the, uh, the first 15 days. You'll probably get the feel if this is the right course for you or not. So um, we'll give you uh, uh, the guarantee for that. And then the price we came up is $697 um, instead of um, double the price. So uh, this is uh, the price that I'm uh, willing to just learn with you for the next 90 days. And uh, hopefully in November, if you are uh, more interested in learning from me, you can join uh, Hawaiian Retreat. It's part of the um, uh, package, uh, not on this one, but if you learn um, more in live sessions, uh, this uh, thing is for online courses, but uh, a lot of people from uh, many different countries are gonna join Hawaiian Retreat. So we already have 60 people joining Hawaiian Retreat. Wow. So yeah, we are going to start um, opening doors for international guests. So we already have um, all the seats pretty much taken. We will probably have another 20 or 30 people, international guests. So I hope uh, you just, some of you can uh, make it to Hawaii or online, um, whichever the way. I'm just so happy to learn uh, with you uh, on this uh, course with uh, True, True Wealth. Oh, wow. Fantastic. I can see many of you are getting excited. Sarah is also going to Hawaii. Now, uh, before we share a little bit more about the trip, maybe you we can go through a little bit more about, uh, I, because I saw some of the bonuses that you are giving, including the fast action taking bonuses. But right. in the meanwhile, while I'm just going to put up the sign up page for those who are keen uh, inside the Zoom chat as well, I think I just put the link inside and then you can, uh, maybe I can just share screen so that uh, Ken can elaborate a little bit more on that as well. So, sure. um, okay, so I'm sharing screen right now. So for those who are inside the, uh, who click the link, basically you will see the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. So um, can, can you share with us, like how does this 12-week interactive training actually work? Like uh, there's a combination of online learning with group coaching, is that how it works? Right, so we'll just uh, um, start uploading uh, videos that, I, that I'm just preparing now. So you get the ideas of what True Wealth is all about uh, three, three times a week. And then you get like a glimpse of, wow. And then, then uh, whatever you learn, it kind of builds up. And after about um, a few weeks, we'll do a group coaching call. So if you have questions, you can um, do the coaching with me. Uh, right now, I have enough time. I'm just sharing enough time with English speaking audience, but I may not uh, be able to uh, do it all the time. But this time, uh, since I'm, I want to learn how English um, audience um, uh, asks questions for me. And this is uh, something I'm learning culturally. Uh, whatever the questions you have, I'm happy to answer for you. I have done. Uh, enough teaching in Japanese and, and overseas. So I'm just curious what kind of questions you're going to have about true wealth. You know, and my teaching is totally different from probably what you get, uh, especially around money IQ. So my approach is uh, very much from money EQ. So uh, all the things you probably are going to learn with me is something that you never heard of, you never thought of. So um Oh, I can share with you some deep wisdom about how to bring peace into your financial free, um, freedom. Mm. And I can see that this is uh, this program is suitable if like you are probably in a transition, like you mm -hmm. like what can say you don't want to be a zombie. You want to really unlock more wealth by doing mm -hmm. something that you're passionate about. And if you are uh, unsure about what kind of passion you have right now, um. Uh, I think Ken, during this program, he's going to help you to walk through what exactly can be the passion or the gift, your ikigai, to yes. 
unlock more wealth. Is that right? Right. So um, once you know what, what is your ikigai and what brings you happy money, and then you'll be more passionate. So it's a great cycle of finding what you're good at, finding why you're born with, and uh, the, finding your true passion and gifts. Uh, those are usually buried around your traumas uh, in your past. Whatever brought you pain or something that is the cause of your healing. And by healing your past traumas, you gain some wisdom. And by mm -hmm. understanding how it works, you'll be more passionate with your life and then you can serve more people at the end. Exactly. And then by serving more people, you are also unlocking more earning potential, right? Because right. I personally see that for myself. I believe Ken, because he has been serving so many people and because of that, he has already made so much money. So I think the key is finding something that you are passionate about, work with Ken, that icky guy, so mm -hmm. that, you unlock your own potential, right? And Ken is that key to help you to unlock that. And at the same time, uh, I think this, uh, let me just scroll down a little bit uh, because it's a 12-week coaching program, which is 90 days, right? 12 times seven is about 90 days. So throughout these 90 days, um, apart from those e-learning modules that you will be going through that Ken will be mm -hmm. guiding you. At the same time, like he said, right, every three weeks or so, right, you will actually jump on a live coaching together with Ken so that yeah. he can see what's going on in your life, what kind of questions that you might have and how can he help you further. So usually, okay, a Ken who was being very humble, he did not say like usually people pay <laughs> him like $4,000 <laughs> to jump on the call with him and right now he is actually giving you guys right this access to him personally for uh three very very valuable coaching calls and during this coaching call you die you guys are definitely going to have more clarity what you can do and that's why i observe as well because every single time as i jump on the call with ken uh together with the group of students we all find clarity right? Like we learn from each other's questions. Sometimes like, like if I don't have questions, it doesn't mean that every time I have questions, right? Sometimes I just listen in. And when I listen in, I observe how people ask their questions. And because their questions actually relate to me, end up I unlock more clarity and, and more positive possibility for my own business and for my life as well. So I think all these kind of group coaching is super, super helpful for myself. And I'm very sure that it can be helpful for you as well. Yeah. So Ken, during the group coaching, what do you plan to do? So I have many questions. So um, they will pull something inside of you. So you'll be surprised like, wow, did I really have this in me? So by um, pulling what's inside you, you realize that how much was hurting you, how much was worrying you. So by healing the pain and traumatic uh, past, um, you'll be transformed. So I have had many techniques and um, done many results with healing the money traumas. So if you just feel stuck in where you are, even though you're making so much money, some people have a hard time keeping the money. Mm -hmm. Some people have a hard time just maintaining the wealth level. You know, um, It's interesting how intergenerational money blocks can stop you you know, I always talk with uh, your parents and grandparents, uh, especially in Hawaii, we go deeper in your subconscious and understand why uh, that you have reached certain level and then go down. When you you climb up and then go down, it's your um, sabotage system uh, subconsciously that money is not good for you. Mm -hmm. So unless you heal the pain uh, with that happened internationally, uh, intergenerational blocks, you cannot uh, become financially free. And I have seen so many people struggle because of the uh, parents' influence and grand grandparents' influence that you never probably imagined that you have had, uh, you go nowhere. So um, by healing your past, by healing your uh, traumas with your parents and grandparents, um, you can uh, start a fresh new financial life. How many of you uh, have certain wounds, you know, like financial wounds or like some hard wounds that you had in the past due to maybe your parents, their, their attitude towards money or maybe their grandpa your grandparents' attitude towards money that kind of actually affected you even to today? If you 
feel so, can you type W in the chat, right? And I think it, it relates to everyone because for myself, right, like back then, I grew up with my grandma who is extremely thrifty. So mm. uh, she always made me realize that, oh my God, money is so hard to get. Like she needs to save so hard just to, just to make sure that every single day she saved a little bit. And because of that, because I brought, I was brought up by my grandma, I mm-hmm. had the exact same feeling. So back then, I felt that making money was so difficult. And I didn't know it was a wound until I actually went through whatever things that Ken just shared that I realized it's a wound and I can heal it. And because of that, then my money, like path started to really get transformed. So I'm very excited. I think this is probably, this is one of the fast action taker bonus is that right? That uh, let me scroll down all the way. I remember, Ken, you are actually giving this fast action taking bonus that mm-hmm. today when they join in, you are going to have this one more bonus session with them where you are going to help them to remove and release this generational money block. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. This is so much fun because um, a lot of people struggle without their knowledge. You know, you, you never know why you are struggling um, it's because of your intergenerational blocks. So I have healed, I have healed uh, hundreds of thousands of people through my techniques. So uh, I can see things, uh, what's happening in your life. So um, whatever the questions you have, I'm so happy to answer and also heal the pain. Uh, because by healing uh, your inner pain, you have uh, so much fun in life and with money so uh, if you can start enjoying your money your life will be so different because money touches every area of your life your relationship will improve your family life will improve and you'll have peace of mind finally and i think you deserve it um, i hope i can give everybody a financial stress-free life and that is my dream And that is a very beautiful dream, very generous of you. And uh, in fact, some people are are wondering, Kelly in the past, she actually joined your Mind Valley program before about Money EQ. Uh, Will these program overlap? Uh, uh, Part of it, but I'm just using it from, uh, I'm just creating this uh, course from a totally different perspective. And also I don't do a group call with Mind Valley uh, folks. Uh, I wish, but uh, they don't have the system and capability. So I'm just waiting to share my time with uh, you personally. So um, so that way, I think uh, it'll be very different. And also, uh, my approach this time uh, from Ikigai and Happy Money, that is a new approach that I haven't done in Money EQ. So I think you're going to really enjoy if you're learning with me on, on Money EQ course in Mind Valley. Because I'm just uh, on top of like um, money EQ course, uh, this is something that people will really enjoy. Yeah. So if you have benefited from Ken's money EQ program back then in Mind Valley, you are definitely going to learn and be transformed even more because this is the time that Ken actually get to spend time with you, like doing group coaching like this and continue to give you more techniques, more clarity to help you to really remove all those money baggage and really move you to that right money path towards true wealth, right? So thank you so much, Kelly, for asking that question as well. So in the meantime, okay, just just uh, remind you guys regarding this fast action taker bonus, it's only limited for today because uh, can he really want to reward action taker and he, he really enjoy doing this together with all of you guys to remove your money blockage and to move you to the right path. So if you join today, you will have this additional group coaching on top of the three group coaching that he has already decided to give you guys as part of this uh, package. Now you have one more. And this one, I'm also looking forward to it as well, as well right? Because um, there are always certain things that always leave behind that kind of drag us down. But if you are able to remove that and you can really propel forward in a much happier and lighter and faster speed, right? So, uh, oh yeah, just like what Ken said, right? So uh, Ken, I can't believe you are offering 100% risk-free money back guarantee. You are so generous, so kind. So uh, how does this money back actually work? Can you share with us a little bit more? Yeah, I think after 15 days, if you just feel that this is not the right course for you, 
we'll give you the money back uh, uh, 100%. So that's how it works. And I think it should be free. I've done, uh, I've operated my entire business this way for the past 30 years wow. in my consulting uh, business too. Uh, because I, you know, happy money is something that you feel appreciated. So I don't want to receive any unhappy money in my business account and personal account. Mm. How beautiful. It's like literally the happy money concept is integrated into your entire life. And that's why you are able to attract so much happy money, people who are grateful to, towards you. Like when I join your community, right, I can realize that some of them have been with you for many years. Like they, they told, told, told me that they, they joined, I think since like two years ago and they're still here because they really enjoy all your wisdom. <laughs> yeah, and I have uh, I have my clients who joined 22 years ago. Oh my gosh. Years. Yeah, like uh, um, yesterday, you know, I have, I have so many long time friends and clients. Amazing. And because of this long duration of keeping in touch with Ken, jumping on call with him, they really continue to be on the right path to attract more true wealth, right? Like the habit is not just form, but like become the concrete part of their everyday thinking, like their mental model completely shift. Right? That's why I always look forward to every single call, uh, group coaching with Ken as well, right? In fact, actually after, after this, we are going to jump on another call together. <laughs> so looking forward. So, uh, okay, so let me just summarize. So firstly, it will be a 12-week uh, premium training by uh, Ken, right? You are going to unlock step-by-step -step and starting from 30th of September. So it's happening actually very soon. And then on top of that, during this 12 week, which is also a 90 day program, you are going to have a three live group coaching call with Ken, exactly what we are doing right now, but Ken will be the one facilitating, uh, sharing with you guys more exercise, more techniques, and to really give you more clarity to remove all those money baggage and move you towards the right mindset, the right habit, the right thinking model to attract true wealth. And then there's this fast action bonus for today, right? When you join us, you are able to actually join this releasing generation money blocks with Ken. And he, it's another bonus group coaching session that he's giving for tonight only, right? And last but not least, oh yeah, we forgot to mention about the guided meditation every week. Ken, can you share with us how does that work? Right. So I love um, sharing um, guided meditations a lot. People love my guided meditations. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you some of the uh, guided meditations that people love. Yeah. So every week, as you listen to Ken's meditation, it kind it really complements with whatever things that you have learned in the in the coaching program, right? So the guided meditation is to reinforce and help you to develop your habit even better and even stronger. And for myself, I actually use Ken's meditation every morning. <laughs> when I wake up, I will listen to it. And it really helped me to set my day. And I think that the most important thing is when you set your day right, that's how the entire day is going to be so smooth sailing. Like, and you are able to see more possibilities and attract more peace and abundance because you you set your day right with the right meditation. Just like what Ken did with us just now. You do that subsequently every single week with Ken for the next 90 days. It's going to be really, really transformational, right? That's what I've been personally going through as well. And then, of course, all the recordings of the, the coachings will be there, available for you for one year. You can watch anytime, anywhere, uh, recap whenever you want. And of course, there will be some additional lifetime access to resources and future updates. So Ken, can you share with us a little bit more about the community that you're building, like this global community? Yeah, so uh, we are creating a community so people can support each other. We've been doing community for three years and uh, it's, it's, it's expanding. So um, I just love to meet them whenever I go, I go around the world. I bump into some of the groups along the way. So um, you're going to you know start meeting all the people, including Japanese people. If some of you want to come visit Japan, we have the, one of the largest online salons, a few thousand people um, are, are the members. So uh, hopefully you'll be in touch with them too. So I um, when I did the uh, presentation in Singapore, you know, Japanese people love Singapore. So, um, you know, I hope through me, 
you become friends with uh, many Japanese and also international friends. Yeah, I, I think that's how whenever I jump on the call, when I see other community members, I also feel like so inspired by every single one of us. And there's so many opportunities to collaborate as well. So if you are looking to expand your network and if you don't know where to get started, I think this is really the best place because whoever who joined Ken's program, they are all on the same frequency, right? That they want to unlock their gift. They want to attract more abundance and they are looking for ways to do that as well. So there's so many ways to collaborate, so many ways that you can learn from each other. And I think this is a great community to, to get started with if you don't know where should, you should look after for, look for, right? And last but not least, right, there is a 15-day money back guarantee. So if you guys still remember, right, every single hour, for example, Ken has been really generous with us today. He literally could have made a like, over $1,000 uh, doing this sharing. But instead, he actually gave us, right, as a complimentary gift. So how many of you are appreciative about that? If you are appreciative, can you type arigato in the chat, right? That he spent his precious hours to be here and to share with you guys all these uh, insights and wisdom to help you. And if you still remember, this program is not just a one hour or two hour program. It's a 90 days program that Ken is going to share with you and go through this journey with you for the next 90 days, right? And if you think about it, just the three group coaching session alone is easily worth like 10 over $1,000, right? Three times four, that's that's 12000 right? Not to mention there's this group experience that he's going to help you to unlock your money baggage. That itself is also worth at least $4,000. But today, right, everything add up with every single wisdom that Ken's going to share with you it's only, I can't believe this is the, the price that we are going to invest. It's only $697. And that's why I really felt there is so, so much value. How many of you can see that actually can, he, he just want to give, right? Like literally, you can see that, like the entire experience and you can totally continue to feel that in his 90-day program, right? He just want to give, he just want to help you. And to him, money it's not the important thing at all, right? Like literally, when I see so many people out there doing similar program, it's easily four figures or more. But Ken, he is doing it at $697. And if you want to do installment, it's only like $249 per month. And I think that is really, really crazy. And I think like just now I was chatting with Sabrina. Sabrina just couldn't believe that, huh? Oh my God, like, like this program is so, so affordable. And for anyone who wants to get started unlocking more true wealth, you want to find your gift, or you just want to really be better in your business journey, I'm very, very sure that this program is going to help you, right? So uh, in the meantime, yeah, if you think about it, $697, you divide by 90 days, right? Because it's a 90 days program. Let me just do a quick math. How much is this? 697 divided by 90 equals to $7. Guys, <laughs> $7, it's like a Starbucks coffee. You can use that $7 to buy a cup of coffee or you buy this cup of coffee for Ken so that Ken can continue to be there with you, coach you for the next 90 days. <laughs> Ken, would you like coffee from them for 90 days? <laughs> Yeah, so whoever's interested, and if you feel a call, please join. I'm happy to share um, what I know about True Wealth, and you're more than welcome to join. I'm so excited to share my wisdom to whoever is interested, and just happy to jump on. Yeah, I'm super, super excited as well. Starbucks, yeah, exactly, right? A Starbucks a day, totally down to get the coffee for 90 days we can. <laughs> and uh, Kontika, uh, Tika is interested. Definitely, I think there's, like, think about it. There is no risk. Literally, Ken is giving you a 15-day money-back guarantee, right? Like, if after 15 days, you felt that this program is not for you for some reason, he's going to give you a full refund, right? That's how generous he is. And he just really want you to give yourself the chance to unlock that possibilities 
for yourself, right? That true wealth for yourself as well. Yeah, so, okay, so here is the, the link to join. Thank you so much, Zen, uh, for helping me to put up again. And in the meantime, okay, if you have any questions, please uh, use this time to ask us as well. So, uh, okay, Sabrina is asking a question. So if money is not the priority, but finding purpose, will this program be suitable as well? Yes, because uh, in order to invite happy money, you need to know who you are because that is a core energy to attract happy money. So you have to know what's in you. And if you don't have much, many assets you know financial assets you need to bring out the best from you so that's why you need to find what you're good at what you're um what you're gifted and what are the things that could uh offer that to the society because what you offer uh will bring in happy money so uh you have to pull out the best from you and then give it to the world and as a result you receive the best so um, you have to know the true wealth and also the uh, life purpose. So that way, uh, that uh, true wealth and uh, life purpose you found will bring in uh, the happy money. Exactly. So I think different people will have different uh, purpose. And that's what I also observe uh, by when I joined this program. Not everybody is looking to to create wealth because they are probably already very well to do, but they also want uh, something bigger in their life. And mm -hmm. uh, during the community call and all this, I realized that some people have different things that you're looking for and Ken is able to help them to find the answer. So that's what the beauty about Ken is. It really is very versatile. It really depends on you. If you're looking to create more wealth, he's going to give you more clarity how to do that. If you're looking to have more better relationship with money, he's going to help you as well. So it really depends on what you're looking for. And yeah, so if Sabrina is impact, then he's also going to guide you in this process as well. So let me just uh, share the screen for uh, the, the QR code to join Ken's program. And uh, if you are interested in, just like what Ken said, uh, he's more than happy to have you to be part of his program and to guide you through to discover whatever things that you want to discover to find your own version of true wealth because everybody is different, right? And in the meantime, uh, for myself, the most, to me, the most impactful about this program is really that peace of mind, that zenness, that happiness that I have not felt for so many years, right? Chasing after money, after money, right? But after I joined Ken's program, I just felt a lot more sat like, like I'm satisfied, like I'm a lot more satisfied. And most importantly is I just felt like I am living a purposeful life that, and I believe in myself even more. And I really felt it was precious because it's so valuable. I can't even use money to quantify how much I have received from Ken, but whatever investment that you guys put in, it's definitely worth it because just imagine it can help you to believe in yourself more, to be able to unlock your potential more, right? And attract more wealth into your life. That itself, it's something money cannot buy. But right now, Ken is going to walk you through in this entire process. Yeah. So for those who are keen, just uh, scan this QR code uh, and then you have a 15-day money back guarantee that is super super generous of Ken as well right so in the meantime uh, when does the group coaching program start again all right uh, Ken when does the pro uh, program start uh the end of September and uh the group group coaching I think sometime in October mm. so that means after uh, the September and September because that is already the almost October. So you, uh, they are going to have some guided online learning first. And then the first group coaching is going to start uh, once they started the first one, two modules. Is that how it goes? Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, so that it's, it's all about like using whatever things that you have learned, that you have recap from Ken's sharing. And then after that, doing a group coaching, that's how Ken can expound on those knowledge expand on those mindset even better and even do exercise with you live like this right to help you to drill down those mindsets 
those concepts and those way of thinking even further into your subconscious. And that's how you are able to really fasten the entire process together with Ken. Right? Uh, so uh, Chia is asking, is it going to be like which day of the week or is it every week? Uh, the group coaching, how, how, how often would you guys be doing it? I think we're uploading the videos three times a week. And I think the group coaching uh, will be determined, I think, a month before because, because I'm traveling uh, internationally. But I think um, uh, you get the recordings too. So I think uh, it'll be the right time for that Japanese people can join, which I think Singaporean uh, people will, will be able to join as well. Yeah, because Japanese is like Japan is one hour later. So right now it's 9 p.m. to them it's 10 p.m. So mm -hmm. so if Japanese people can join, you will definitely be able to join. And uh I think Ken and his team are always very nice. They like to always give those schedules way in advance, right? So that you can lock your calendar before that. Then you can you are able to jump on every single live coaching call, right? However, for some reason, during that day, despite that they gave you the schedule earlier, you still cannot make it. Then there's always recording available for you to watch, right? Sometimes for myself, I'm busy as well. I couldn't join some, some of the calls live. Then I will always go back to watch the recording because just by watching the recording, I also felt like I'm learning so much, right? From Ken's guided questions, from people's uh, answers and all this, I'm learning a lot. So I'm very sure that you are able to find the schedule that suits you the best and uh, maximize the learning together with Ken as well, right? So sounds like a global community. It is, it is a global community Zen, all right? So now, okay, any more questions uh, from, uh, for Ken? Uh, for for this entire coaching program so that Ken and the team can help you to get started better, right? So if you have any questions, feel free to ask uh, because uh, we also want to make sure be mindful of the time as well. Ken has been really, really generous with us for the past close to two, two hours, right? So just want to make sure, okay, is that there, is there all recorded video? Uh, okay, so Ken, can you elaborate a little bit more on a recorded video? Yes, I'm I'm re I'm recording all uh all those videos as we speak. It's uh very short and precise. So just by watching that, you you get it. Wow. Okay. So um instead of teaching like long hour video, I just give you uh, short clips and and then by by just watching them on smartphones and stuff, you get the ideas. You know, one after another. So that will build up uh your understanding. And then when you have questions, write them down and just ask me whenever you can in the mm. next uh, uh, coaching calls. Yeah. So uh, it's a combination of uh, online recorded learning snippets, short and sweet, so that you can maximize your learning time, right? Because no point watching like two hours of video on a concept when you can just get it in like five minutes, right? And then when you get it, then it's mo most important is as you're practicing it, you will definitely have certain questions or how am I going to improve it better? Or maybe when I practice it, somehow I just don't seem to get it, right? That's when doing the group coaching, that's how Ken is going to be there live, right? Through Zoom session like this to really guide you through even better, right? And that's how you can also ask questions during the group coaching or uh, whatever challenges that you might be facing or some certain money worries that you just don't seem to be able to unlock by yourself, that's how Ken is here to share with you all his wisdom as well. Yes, it's perfect for habit building, right? Because three videos a week, you are able to, to have very, very good actionable items like to jumpstart every week, what should you do? And then that's uh, after that, right? With the group coaching, it reinforces whatever things that you have learned as well, All right? So hopefully... Uh, that address uh, Kotika's questions. Is is it clear with you? If if you have any more things that you want to clarify, feel free to clarify where we love all the questions as well, right? So uh, can for yourself, maybe you can, oh, fantastic. Thank you so much, Kotika. I think we have addressed the questions as well. So in the meantime, Ken, uh, before we wrap up, maybe you can also share with us a little bit more about the Hawaii trip, right? For those who are keen, because uh, right now when, when you guys join, right, you will not be able to see the Hawaii trip detail. So maybe can you can share with us a little bit more about the Hawaii trip. 
Yeah, so um, uh, there is a group of people uh, international from my international community. They'll fly to Hawaii in November. Uh, so there are already 60 people signed signed up. So there will be a group of people from all over the world uh, to learn about um, True Wealth. And also this will be a vision quest. So we are going to um, go deeper inside us uh, by spending three days together. We learn from each other and then uh, learned about what happened to our parents and grandparents. Uh, we are going to go, uh, dive into uh, the um, our subconscious and then figure out why we are born this way, what happened, and then uh, from now, what is the right path? So uh, after three days, I think people feel uh, reborn and just come up with their life visions. So um, that's what we did last year. And so we're going to do it this year in uh, Hawaii in November. So I'm very excited that, but there are not many uh, spots left um, um, unless you uh, hurry hurry up and register because we're going to release uh, this to open it to public uh, next week. So um, uh, if you feel a call, please come to Hawaii or join the um, online program. Yeah, so I think this currently I uh, can only release this Hawaiian trip to his uh, community, right? For example, True Wealth, right? When you join the True Wealth Mastery, you are part of the community, then you will have uh, early spots, uh, early bird available access to join this. Just like what Ken said, uh, uh, where the slots run out, then he can't cater that anymore, right? Because he also want to make sure it's a cozy retreat when he gets to know you and at the same time able to guide you through certain very, very deep exercise when everybody is just secluded from all the noise in a very beautiful Hawaii, then you really cut off so that you really have the clarity and the focus and the space that you need to do certain deep work together with Ken. So I'm very excited because... I will be going there in November. I will fly to Japan and then from Japan, I will transit to Hawaii. So looking forward. Yeah, so uh, so once you become the True Wealth Mastery members, right, by joining today's program, I'm just going to put the link once again inside the chat. And then uh, after that, right, the team will be able to send you uh, additional details about the Hawaiian trip if you are interested in, right? And and you will have some additional early bird bonus uh offer as well because you are part of the true wealth community members that is not available to the public as well right so okay any more additional questions from the uh from the rest right if uh if let me see make sure that i just go through all the questions if you guys have additional questions i can still see that there are about 60 people 68 people inside the chat all right so feel free to ask us any additional questions maybe just uh three more minutes before we wrap up because I think Ken has uh, another group coaching. Okay, in fact, after that, we have a group coaching together <laughs> for our program. So I'm looking forward to what Ken has to share tonight. All right, so any more questions? If not, okay, maybe I will get Ken to share with us uh, your uh, insights and one last advice that you want to give to our audience over here. Yeah, thank you so much, Chloe and everybody. You know, I hope uh, uh, you just transform your relationship with money because money is to be enjoyed money is not made for suffering that's how we made that so by understanding what money is what true uh, wealth is you will see a totally uh, new different world because by understanding the essence of money by inviting more happy money into your life by understanding who you are and by understanding your life vision you can change your life and then uh, finally come up with a vision and start living your true life. So by um, living your true life and by understanding what you give, you will receive. Uh, you start the cycle of arigato money. So I hope uh, in the future, your life will be filled with happy money. And I sincerely hope you'll be free from money stress and also enjoy life. So please enjoy money. Please enjoy life while you can. Because life is short, so, and I hope uh, I will just meet you in person, so sometime in Singapore or in Japan, so or in Hawaii. So thank you, Chloe, and everyone. Uh, thank you. I, I always believe once we meet, we can become friends. So hopefully, 
we'll meet a uh, second time um, sometime in the future. Wow, thank you so much, Ken. How many of you feel very, very appreciative to Ken's sharing and his wisdom tonight? If you are appreciative, you are thankful, can you type arigato in the chat? All right, thank you so much, oh, Odi. Thank you so much, Janice. And thank you once again, Ken, for being here, spending your precious time with us. And I think for those who have signed up, we are super excited for your journey ahead. So remember, the fast take, uh, fast action taker bonus is only available for tonight. So for those who are really, really wanting to transform your relationship with money, I really felt that the best person that you can learn from and to have the peace that you need, right? Because at the end of the day, right, why worry about money when you can have a peaceful relationship, right? So if you really want to have that peace and unlock more abundance for yourself and attract true wealth, then make sure join Kent's program and I will be there as well. So look forward to seeing every single one of you. So all you need to do is to click on the link and it will be available for those who are joining us today as well. So for those who are joining Hawaii, then you we will also get to meet each other in uh, Kent's retreat in Hawaii. So looking forward to every single one of you. Thank you so much. I love you all. Bye-bye. Thank you. Aligato Zaimas. Thank you, everybody. Aligato. Thank you. Bye. See you soon. See you.